Hello, today we're going to look at particle motion in gases and we can start by looking at a balloon and the gas inside a balloon. Well, it's actually a mixture of gases usually if, you're, if you've blown it up with your breath. However, what we have is the inside of a balloon and we have particles or molecules of gas inside there. The particles are obviously a lot smaller and there are millions upon millions inside there, but we've just drawn three to show how they move around. And they move around in random directions and they collide with the sides of the balloon. Any gas inside a container will behave in the same way. So there are a couple of key and important points we need to know and remember about the movement or motion of the particles in gases inside a closed container. So the first thing is that the gases or the gas molecules move constantly and randomly. So what does that mean? Well, they're constantly moving and by randomly we mean that, we mean that they move at different speeds and in different directions. The temperature is the average kinetic energy of the molecules inside the balloon. So the temperature is the average kinetic energy of the molecules. They all have slightly different kinetic energies, but the average of those would be the temperature that goes for any substance. The final point we're going to make on this slide is that the molecules exert a pressure on the sides of the container. The container in this case, of course, is the balloon, but they do that by colliding with the sides. And we can see that by these red force lines. They collide with the sides of the container and that's what exerts our pressure. Okay, so these are, the, these are a few important points that we need to know about the motion of particles in gases. We're gonna look at this in a slightly different way. We're just gonna extend the idea a little bit. First, we've got a diagram of a container and this container is at a certain temperature and we've got the particles inside the container and as before they move around randomly, random directions, different speeds and collide into the sides of the container causing a pressure. What we can do is actually change the temperature so we can raise the temperature of the whole container as you can see there and what happens is we have an increased amount of kinetic energy in the particles. They move around more rapidly because of the increased temperature and the increased kinetic energy that they have gained. They will collide with the sides of the container more often and therefore we're gonna have a higher pressure inside that container. We've kept the volume the same, all we've done is change the temperature. Now what we can do in a slightly different version of the experiment is to decrease the volume and therefore increase the pressure inside that container and what we see is the particles still move around random directions and different kinetic energies, or slightly different kinetic energies, but they collide with the sides of the container more often, simply because they are in a smaller volume and the pressure is therefore increased. Okay, so we've got three, we have three different scenarios there. And the fourth one, the final one, is if we decrease the volume and therefore decrease the pressure, we're going to get less collisions with the sides of the container. This is similar to the first little animation we saw but we reduce the pressure because we've decreased the volume and therefore less collisions with the sides of the container. Now that's quite a lot we've gone through there, so let's just make a summary of what we've talked about. So the idea is that movement of the molecules is linked to the temperature. So at a lower temperature we've got less kinetic energy and therefore less movement or slower movement of the particles. And the idea is that the higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy those particles have and therefore we have more collisions with the size, sides of the container or with the walls and therefore we have a higher pressure. The movement of the molecules also is linked with pressure. So the higher the pressure, the higher the pressure on those molecules or on that gas, the more collisions with the walls of the container. Not only is there more collisions with the walls, but there's also more collisions with each other as well. The particles collide with each other more often as well when we have a higher pressure and in fact when we have a higher temperature as well. And the last point I want to make here for this video is that the higher the temperature, the higher the pressure, but we have to keep the constant, we keep a constant volume. So we've kind of said that already, but it's just worth highlighting. It's highlighted in the spec, so we make sure we know and understand that idea. The higher the temperature, the higher the pressure, but we keep the volume the same to see that increase in pressure. Okay, so let's not over highlight that. I think that will be fine. Okay, but that's it for this video. You might need to just go over it one or two more times just to get those key points. But other than that, that's me done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.